Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods! And only a few more days until Christmas. Uh, our weather's been great here. Uh, been a couple chilly nights, but not too bad. Animals have been mostly staying inside. Uh, and we have decided to uh, do a calendar this year. So if you haven't seen our Facebook page, uh, we did up 50 calendars uh, of uh, pictures from the animals throughout the year. Uh, and put them uh, put them all together. Uh, so if you are interested in getting a calendar, you can always check out our Facebook page uh, and uh, send Tara a message on there. Uh, they are 30, what is it? They're $25 local pickup, $30 uh, North American shipping, and $35 total for international shipping. Uh, there are six and a half high by eight and a half wide and then of course that's the calendar slash photo they're twice that of course when you open them up uh, so I figured I would go out and uh, check in on the animals see how everybody's doing on this uh, not so bad day ho 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 you guys want some snacks you want some snacks Daisy have been uh, hibernating and it looks like they're heading back oh they're going to the door uh, no 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 it's not that time twice a day uh, Petey and Piper and and the alpaca uh, they get um, some supplemental food and they go inside to the barn so of course whenever we come out here they don't see too many people during the winter time because of course during the summer we have uh, tons of people out visiting and and doing all kinds of things uh, so now they figure oh, okay well Mark's out here so uh, it's time to get some uh, some of the good stuff <laughs> now pigs do eat hay uh, and they eat uh, just numerous different things uh, we usually give them some uh, some pig rations uh, in the winter time in the summertime they do really well just going out back and foraging uh, and getting all the grubs, especially in the spring. All right, you're outside. They don't get out too much during the winter. Um, in the back, I was just telling Tara this morning, uh, back here, there is, uh, there's no footprints back there. Uh, so they generally just stay kind of in this vicinity here. They may wander out around the pond, uh, but, um, but not so much. They just kind of stay indoors now. Nothing to graze on in the back. Uh, the ponies, which are up front, uh, you would often see them in the wintertime going and doing some runs around there. Uh, so now, of course, they are up in the front section, which we'll go up and check on them in a bit. Uh, and they, uh, they're seen kind of running around in that area. So nothing really has changed out here. Uh, we've still got the same crew, uh, and uh, they'll, be, um, they'll be hanging out in the yard here uh, until, well, until spring, till things start to warm up. Uh, then we're going to take the, um, the moms and the future moms, uh, which is Coco and Blackie. And we have Holly and Billy Jean, which is the far one there. And Petunia. And uh, Charlotte. So they'll all be going inside. And that's about the time of year we'll, where we'll bring... Uh, the inside ones out, so Moira and Onyx and Sheldon. Oh, is that good, Daisy? Is that good? <laughs> now, I did go out and do kind of some holiday photos. I thought, oh, it would be cute to uh, to take, you know, some, some hats and some different things uh, and come out with the animals and do kind of a little photo shoot. Uh, it was yesterday. It was very windy. Today would have been a much better day to do it. 
uh, and it was pretty cold too. Uh, so when we were putting on, we were up with the ponies and we were doing a few things and, and putting the hat on Daisy and uh, the Christmas hats on, um, on Levi. Meadow just didn't want anything to do with it. She was just, no, nope, no, nope, she's a stubborn little girl. She's like, you're not dressing me up. <laughs> but Levi's pretty good. Unfortunately, there was some hay in there and we had kind of just fed them. So they were more focused on the, uh, on the hay and eating the hay than it was putting on the hat. So it was interesting anyway. Uh, and then we came back here and of course the alpaca, no way that they're gonna be getting uh, anything put on their head. They're, um, they're a little shy when it comes to human interaction. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give the pigs a little something because that's what they want and uh, apples is one of their favorite treats. So, come on out. Okay, guys. Yes. Okay. Here, Petey. Want an apple? Oh, there you go. Here, Piper. Oh. Mmm, is that what you wanted? Yes, that's what you wanted. Just wait. Finish what's in your mouth. What are you, a little piggy? <laughs> there you go. That's what you wanted. We still got some fresh apples kicking around. Fresh apples and, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. No more. No more. <laughs> so here is uh, what we still have. So we've still got some apples. Uh, I'm not sure if that's all we have left. It might be. Uh, and then we have the pumpkins that we moved over from the other area, uh, which was over here, which there's some more pumpkins. Uh, and this little boy, you guys have been giving us some great uh, names. We haven't actually made a decision. Uh, this is our little Sarama rooster. Uh, Saramas, if you're unaware, are the smallest breed of uh, chicken. So, and this is a little rooster. And then we have Scooby. <laughs> Scooby the call duck and uh, Henry. Uh, we did get some pictures with Henry uh, with this little clip-on hat, but uh, he didn't really care too much. Sheldon, are you excited for Christmas? <laughs> he doesn't do this all the time. He does this when somebody comes out and he gets excited. So this is his way of just getting that excitement out. He goes around, and I think he actually just goes around uh, the same way. I think it's always clockwise. <laughs> Sheldon, Sheldon, yeah, hi. What are you doing, buddy? You're just going on your laps. You're in great shape. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sheldon knows how to, how to spend his time indoors during the winter, eh? <laughs> oh, silly boy. Uh, Fernando, you know, he's, he's in here, uh, and we put him in here because he was, um, well, he uh, had a little uh, boo-boo on his foot, we'll call it, uh, and then um, we went to bring him out, and he didn't want to come out. Are you just going to hang out on your own? No, Moira, Mo <sighs> Moira wants <laughs> the grains that Fernando has, so he's got a, kind of a mixture of grains over there hanging up. And that's what she wants, don't you? Yes, but too many grains is bad for you. Yeah, you don't want to get all bloated, do you? And there's Pierre. Pierre's so happy. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> and Onyx. Onyx, I think you have, you have a little something on your, on your face there. Here you go. Let me help you out with that. <laughs> uh, so this area here, we're going to, I believe we're going to segregate into... Uh, three pens come spring. So these guys will go out uh, and then the uh, the mamas and mamas to be will uh, will come into this area here. And that's where they're gonna kid out. Right, Pierre? And what are you gonna do? You're gonna be by the sidelines just watching. Because <laughs> he just gets the run, gets the run of the place. So last week's video, I went into the bird area and there's a pigeon nest up top. Now, of course, I didn't know what was in it and Upon editing, I noticed that there was one little one. Uh, so we'll head in there and see uh, see how he's uh, doing. He, she is doing. Hi, girls. Hi, Fernando. <laughs> uh, so they've got, again, their smorgasbord of all kinds of different little things here. Uh, they get a nice variation of foods. Oh, yeah, now I can see. Now I can see the little one. 
I could have probably seen the little one uh, last week if I had come back here. So, and they just, they keep on having their little ones. Throughout the winter, doesn't matter, anytime. Got all their little perches up here in this uh, painted tree. <laughs> uh, so these pigeons are inside and we've got some other ones outside. Uh, people ask, you know, why do you have pigeons? Well, no particular reason. We had pigeons um, early on uh, and they were fancy pigeons. The old German owl, the lacquer shield pigeon, um, the capuchin pigeon. Uh, and we had lost uh, a bunch of them to, or actually all of them, uh, out to the, uh, the crows. Uh, which those crows seem to be the biggest uh, predator that we have here on yard. Uh, and then after that we decided, oh, let's get a couple more. And it's just nice to see uh, we've got some of them outside uh, and then some of them inside. Uh, and the ones outside, you know, they do have that, the, the cost of being outside is that there's predators and crows out there. Billy Jean! <laughs> there's, there's still some hay out in this area here. Looks like Blackie as well. You don't want to hang out with them, you're like, uh, oh, this is good enough here. Don't need all that drama, right Blackie? <laughs> uh, you guys are going back to bed. You had your apple, you had your fill. Oh, there you go. Yep. Piper's getting the bed all ready for you, Petey. Fluffing things up. Don't mind me, I'm just watching. <laughs> Uh, here she is, and she's gonna burrow in. Yeah. Okay, how's everybody doing out here? Uh, of course, Billy and Carl are still in the back here, but uh, we don't have too much of a concern with them. They haven't been, uh, they haven't been the bad boys they were as soon as they come in. Uh, so, I think the girls are pretty much bred, so, uh, and they know. So they're not, uh, now they're just one of the, one of the crew out here, but we will be moving them back at some point uh, to the front area. Of course, the ponies, uh, Levi doesn't care for them being around too much. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. Well, it's only a few days till Christmas. Maybe we'll bring out some Christmas uh, cheer next, uh, next weekend. Hey, some vegetables, some fruits. What do you think of that? Nothing? <laughs> Hi, George. And look, even the rabbits are out. It looks like, I think there's only four of them, and it looks like three of them are out. Hey, guys. <laughs> or girls, I should say. Hey? Yeah, what do you think? It's nice weather out. And we've got our little lop over there. <laughs> Things get louder as I approach. Uh -oh. So the ground out here is uh, it's starting to get a little thicker. We use the uh, the deep base deep uh, deep base method. Hi, how you doing, buddy? What do you think? Um, so this here is called Healthy Strong. We just put this out uh, just to uh, cover the top. And then come springtime, we end up shoveling it all out, and this stuff's really good for the uh, for the garden. So. <laughs> well, hi. I didn't see Billy last video, but there he is. There, Billy's always in with the rabbits. Uh, he hangs out in there, and then of course we've got all of the little birds flying around. <laughs> Uh, well, it's a shelter and there's food in here, so I guess it works. And the ponies. What are the ponies doing? Of course, they're eating. Hey, guys. Hey, Meadow. And Meadow, she is, uh, how old are you now? You're about two now, right? You're coming up on two. This spring you'll be two. She was born and she's got beautiful little eyes. What? What? You want salt? You got a whole salt lick in your feeder there. Human salt's always better, right? <laughs> Levi, what are you doing, bud? Oh, you're dusty. What is that, dusty? <laughs> uh... 
Well, when there's uh, when there's food around, it's not as exciting, is it, Bud? No, you'd rather eat than uh, than come and visit me. <laughs> Daisy, how you doing, girl? Oh uh, yes. Hi. <laughs> you got your own little pile over here. Um, so somebody had asked, do the animals go in uh, during the cold weather? Uh, actually, during the evening uh, and during the cold weather, uh, they do go into these buildings. So this one here, I've been finding Daisy has been going into the old chicken coop. Uh, and Levi and Meadow have been going into, uh, into their building in here. So we do have uh, some sad news that uh, happened this past week. Uh, of the three little bunnies, uh, two of them had passed away. So the brown one and the black one. Uh, we were, well, I was probably a little bit more optimistic than Tara, but um, uh, the reality is they just weren't putting on the weight. They were skinny, they were eating fine. They were all eating the same amount. Um, but uh, for some reason, the black one and the brown one just weren't getting the nutrition out of it. Uh, and we first lost the uh, the black one, uh, and then soon after that the brown one. Um, but the other one is is doing really well, uh, and um, and and eating. We've we've actually doubled the uh, the intake of milk, um, which the uh, the first two went a couple days. I think it was about uh, Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday when uh, when they passed away. Um, so they had been getting and they had been eating that uh, that larger dose of milk. Uh, and everything seemed fine, but one morning uh, we found uh, one of them, and the next morning it was the other one. So we're gonna go in and see uh, the little one in there. We've made uh, him, her, we're not quite sure yet, a little house. So uh, we'll go in and we'll check on uh, her, him, and the name, because uh, Tara's come up with a, uh, an interesting name for this little one. Okay, so we're back in the house, and uh, I figured I'd show you the cats before we go in and see the uh, the little bunny. And we have, if you've uh, watched the videos in the past, we have five of them. This one here is Coda. Hi, Coda. Coda. Yeah, Coda's pretty chill, aren't you, buddy? Coda. Coda. <laughs> Tara likes Coda. 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 He'll get him on the floor when he plays with you. Yeah, he'll jump up and request treats quite often. Oh, my God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> my God. Uh, and then we have the other one. So all these guys are rescues. This is Mama. This is Anara. Or Narnar. And she has a little daughter named Rhea. Hi, Rhea. And a little son Master. named Lucifer. Go to basket. Yeah. <laughs> Go to basket. And then we have the first one that came along, Nix. And she loves sitting in this little spot here. This is her favorite spot uh, beside the, uh, the little Christmas ornaments on the corner. Oh, stretch. Hey. Yes. <laughs> And then, of course, we have the two Westies, Toby and Maggie. And, and Atlas, is, uh, Atlas is outside. Whoa, sneaky. <laughs> Let's go see what Atlas is doing. He's probably waiting for dinner with the, uh, the change in uh, the time. Hi, Atlas. Are you waiting for dinner? <laughs> Soon, buddy. Soon. He's still uh, recouping from the time change. <laughs> All right, Tara. Oh, and Tiana's here too. Time Shh. to go see. Have you told them his name yet? No. Oh. I, I saved that for you. Okay, we're gonna go see. <laughs> Cat toys. Poopits. 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 It is. <laughs> I guess because. Uh, um, off. Yeah, we're uh, we're of course not sure of the sex. He or she, I think Tara's calling him a he. Uh, this, by the way, is where all of our plants reside and feathers because of the cats. Little poopets. Yeah, so here and he is. And it's fun to say. Poopets. And it could be for a boy or a girl. You're right. <laughs> okay. So poopets is doing really well. 
Poop it's like his house. Yeah, and so he's got a container in here. Uh, and this is just for added safety because he did jump out um, and was uh, kind of around the tub here. So he's got uh, an extra layer of protection. Tara made him a little house in here. And uh, he seems to love it quite a bit. So he seems to always be in his little house. Little poopets. Right? Little poopets. Yeah. He's cute. We're bonding. Yeah. Over bathroom breaks. So he is eating uh, <laughs> twice a day, 10 in the morning, 10 at night. And most, and then hay, his hay. Yeah. He's got the hay and he's got the little uh, pellets too. He's got a few different things to, uh, Options. to chew on. Yeah. And what is he up to? 18 cc's? 18 to 20? Yeah, about two syringes. So about, uh, about 20. Yeah. About 20 mLs. He sucks them back like there's no tomorrow, so. Right, Nix doesn't. Yeah. What's that, Nix? Well, I don't trust her with the head. She's she doesn't have claws. Yeah. <laughs> you pet poopets. That's poopets. Hey? <laughs> you pet poopets. Hey? You pet poopets. Pet poopets. <laughs> you can't eat poopets, but you can pet poopets. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and then, of course, the, the terriers. <laughs> you just gotta smell it, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'll protect you, poopits. Yes, hey. from he's not scared at all. Like, he's like, <laughs> he's so used to being handled now. Hey. Well, that's it for another video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a, a wonderful Christmas and a happy holidays. And here's to 2021. Uh, hopefully, uh, it'll be looking up from uh, 2020. I think a lot of people are uh, wanting to put 2020 behind us. Uh, I was just actually looking in the mirror the other day, and I'm thinking, oh, I need a haircut. So that's one thing that I think a lot of people uh, will be missing is going in and getting uh, getting the haircut and the styles and whatever it is uh, you do. Um, so here's to 2021, and we'll see you next week. Take care and have a wonderful one. Bye-bye.